My makeup is dry and it cracks on my chin. I'm drowning my sorrows in whiskey and gin. The light Taylor's whip doesn't crack anymore. The lions won't fight and the tigers won't. Song. One time, I shouldn't have gone with the lyric sheet. You know the lyrics. I don't know. I wasn't why throwing you... that at you, Casey. It yes, was, he was. It didn't hit her. It was. It, was it landed. Shot. It was a good mm-hmm. shot. I landed in in inside of mm-hmm. an array of things on a space that looks like it's where it belongs. Are you going to show it? That. Yeah. Fascinating. Great yeah. content. One time, we did. The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah. Opening up for Bob Dylan in Mm -hmm. Duluth, Minnesota. And Alan from Lowe joined us on stage. Mm -hmm. Actually, Mimi and Lowe, Mm -hmm. I mean, Mimi and Alan both joined us. And but Alan was going to say, take a bunch of the verses or maybe he was going to sing the whole thing. And oh, I kept asking him if he was prepared, and we tried to run through it, and he said he was fine, and he didn't need lyrics, lyric sheet, but we had the lyric sheet out there anyway. And we were playing it with with Richard Thompson was on stage with us, and Alan um, sang like the last verse, second. Which has all kinds of musical cues in it, <laughs> and then he started like freaking out and messing up all of the verses, and eventually he just ripped the the lyrics off of the stage that were duct taped to the stage to help him. He just ripped them up, and he was just reading them on the stage and singing them, and getting more and more frustrated, and and eventually. He ate the lyrics on stage at the end of the song. He just chewed them up and ate them. Mm-hmm. And if you go to Duluth today, there is a statue there to, to 
memorialize the wreck of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. 